Hello, I am Jangi Rao. Today I am discuss about waves and sound. Let me first explain the definition of wave. The when any periodic disturbance occurs any elastic medium or any free space, then they are produces a wave. Actually, wave is a disturbance. When any type periodic disturbance occurs any medium, then they are produces a wave. Wave transfer energy from one place to another place. That's why we get energy from sound. We can hear sound from a distance place. We can see an object because all are wave. So remember one thing. Energy transfer as a wave. So we have to understand clearly concept of wave. Now I want to explain the classification of wave. According to the angle of according to the angle between the direction of vibration of the wave to the direction of propagation of the wave waves are two types number one transverse wave number two longitudinal wave so what is transverse wave when the direction of vibration of the medium particle is perpendicular perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave then that type of wave is called transverse wave transverse wave that means here say this one is the direction of propagation of the wave and ups and down is the movement of the vibrating particle then the angle between them is 90 degree that's why it is called transverse wave transverse means 90 degree or perpendicular so remember one thing, when the direction of vibration of the medium particle is perpendicular or 90 degree to the direction of propagation of the wave is called transverse wave. Water is a good example of transverse wave. When water wave propagate horizontally, then the molecules of the water moves up and down, vibrate up and down. The angle between them is 90 degree. That's why uh, water is a transverse wave. On the other hand, longitudinal wave. Longitudinal wave, if the direction of vibration of the medium particle is parallel or same direction or zero degree with the direction of propagation of the wave, then that type of wave is known as longitudinal wave. Sound, sound wave is a good example of longitudinal wave. When sound wave propagates from one place to another place, then the air molecules vibrate to and fro, to and fro. That means sometimes it compresses and sometimes it rarefaction. They, they go far distance. So that's why this vibration goes to forward. That means the direction of vibration of the medium particle is parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave. That's why sound wave is a longitudinal wave. Another classification. According to the requirement of any physical medium, waves are two types. Number one, number one, mechanical wave. Number two, electromagnetic wave. What is mechanical wave? The wave which required any physical medium to propagate from one place to another place is known as mechanical wave. Like sound. Sound cannot travel through a vacuum. Sound required any physical medium to propagate from one place to another place. That's why sound wave is a mechanical wave. 
on the other hand electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave the wave which does not require any physical medium to propagate from one place to another place is called electromagnetic wave like light wave light wave uh, does not require any physical medium to propagate from one place to another place that's why the sound that's why the light from light from the sun uh, comes to our uh, earth without any medium without uh, without they they can travel through vacuum also i think uh, you understand this one next time see you again okay bye bye